Well, you know, I'm not sure if I've actually been down here or um, not on this playthrough now that I think about it. But what I can tell you is I've done this before. Maybe not on this playthrough, but I have done this before. Um, so let me explain what's been going on here. Uh, we're back to playing Skyrim. I probably introduced you with a little bit of footage there of going in getting one of the Ethereum shards, which we're trying to collect for this quest we're on right now. Um, and right now we are in the depths of the first place we went for the Dark Brotherhood. And I had sworn that I'd been down in here at least once before, so I decided not to record it. But upon getting really far in here, I started to forget stuff. And that's when I was like, maybe I haven't been here before. After all. So the first thing we gotta do here, in the depths of this wonderful magical place, is figure out what's stopping this mechanism from working. Button does not have power. Jump in the water here. Okay. Do a little bit of swimming around, see if I can find the other ones. Mm, don't think there's another one down here. Okay, both of those things are turning. I think we're good. Button still does not have power. No, I still hear one messing up. Let's go ahead and take care of these Falmer down in here. Because once this door opens, if I remember correctly, we're going to have a small boss fight. Entailing de dealing with what is actually behind the door. And I'm very glad to report that my crossbow is still just as effective as I remember it being. At least with sneak attacks. To the face, not so much. But hey, it is what it is. We shall make do. Oh, are those uh, soul gems? Sweet! I'll take those. A little bit of extra nonsense while we're down here. Anywho, so let's pop this door open. And that is exactly what I thought it was going to be. And the best way to take care of these things is to go dual wield and try to sneak up behind it. Luckily, my sneak skill is pretty damn impressive right now. But I think these things are resistant to poison, if I remember correctly. So we need to get it to turn around. And then if possible, I'd like to get a backstab off on it. That was pretty damn impressive. So, after that great display of damage multipliers, let's go and loot this thing. And we're gonna pull Grand Soldier out on that. Just like that. Search this little chest in here. Dwarven Shield. Orcish boost of muffling. Might as well take that. I can disenchant it for something cool later, I guess. I right, move this guardian out of the way. Cause it's just kind of obstructing our path here. Kitty's pretty freaking strong picking up these guardians. Fling him in there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's open this door. And we shall see if this whole endeavor was actually worth it or not. Oh, mother of God. 
Old Catra's down in here. So we're batting a thousand somehow. Are you kidding me? Whoa! Okay, I'm just gonna sit here. You, gotta, you ladies got this. You ladies, uh... Yeah, you're good. You're fine. Awesome. Um, oh, not awesome. Stuff is apparently still spawning. Activate this twerking mechanism. Is there something in this shot here I can get? Oh. Oh, D. Oh. Oh, that goes down that way. Okay. Well, Catra wants to go the other way, so let's go the other way. What are you doing? Stop that. Serena's all like, I got a stick! But I would assume Catra knows what she's doing, so... Oh, is that a pedestal where it would have been? If I had actually not gotten it already? Mm, that's what I think that is. Yep, it was a total waste of a trip, that's what I thought. Freaking great. Okay, well we can mark this place off the list at least, so um, that's nice. Son of a bitch. Can I unlock this chest really quick? Might as well get a little bit more loot to offset the cost of coming down here. I had to burn a lot of healing potions, not on any mobs, but on a trap I ran across that was like fire and death. And not good at all. I know, you're mad at me because I didn't record it. But trust me, I've been in here so many times. I don't know why, but for some reason the game has a hard on for this. Whoa. Wow, Serena freaking glitching around corners. Hmm. Tell me that there's a way I can open the door. I'm no fan of the sun. That would be better than this. Hmm. Can I just fast travel considering it's outside? Yeah, okay. Well, that was a complete waste of time. With that, I think we should go ahead and... Catcher's journal is going to tell us where we can go to our fourth location, which isn't that far away. It's like those two rivers and sort of that way. Okay, so let me do a little bit of cross-referencing on the map based on where we are right now. Okay, there's the two rivers, I think, maybe. No, these are the two rivers, right. I put that marker right there at the middle of them. Now, what we got is we're going to have to go about here. That's where number four is, and I've definitely never been there before, so that'll be a completely new thing. So let's go ahead and head on out there. I burped. <laughs> Oh, 